what in the hell? Did I ever think there would come a day where I would have snow pants that were too big? No, I never thought that would happen, ever. Good morning, good morning, good morning Vlogmas fam. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I've been up for a couple hours already and I have this candle that I lit. It smells so good. It's super cute too. It's called Grandma's Kitchen. And every time I walk into the kitchen now, it just like smells like cinnamon and pie, but like not like overly so. But yeah, I've just been <laughs> actually honestly watching YouTube videos this morning and drinking some water. Let me fill this up really quick. So I have one of these big water, it's not a canister, water bottles. And um, this is one that I got, the one that I got from Half, half Days. I keep wanting to call them, I keep wanting to call them Half Sundays, but it's Half Days. And this is what it looks like. It says, catch runs, not feelings. <laughs> it's very accurate. I think that's a pretty good depiction of my life. This morning is pretty low key. I have a lot of content I actually need to create today and some projects that I'm working on with some brands because we're getting ready to wrap up the end of the year for our content that's sponsored. And I have some writing that I need to do today. I have a serious obsession with Sherpa sneakers right now. So I'm going to be writing a post on that. And I need to do laundry. Like I have probably four loads of laundry I need to do. So that's what we're going to do today. Laundry, write, edit, create content. It's going to be a boring day. I'm actually going to go out to lunch today though. So that might be fun. One of my favorite restaurants in Colorado Springs is called 503W. Oh my God. Their food is so good. It's like a new American style restaurant and they have like a mix of like Asian fusion and all kinds of things. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me show you all these other sneakers that came in and you can let me know which ones you all like the best. These were the original ones that I showed you all a couple days ago that came in. They're like the green and tan colored. And I really like them because I tend to wear so much neutral, but I also feel like these ones might be a little more wearable. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you like the green or the white? Or these ones also came in. These are from P448. These ones also Sherpa vibes, but they're a little different. They're like Sherpa meets dad sneaker. I like the little glitter tongue. I think that's cute. But I don't know how I feel about the sole of this one. So, what do we like? One, two, or three? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's my current obsession, Sherpa sneakers. I'm really in love with them right now. And I <laughs> just think that they're such a vibe which is so weird because I don't know that they're necessarily going to be like in style for a super long time, but I just really, really like that one. I think I'm going to keep the neutral ones though. added some stevia and a little tiny baby bit of oat milk to it and you're supposed to let it steep for like I don't know five or six minutes so it still has a few minutes left to steep but I finally got changed this is what I'm wearing so I have on this little kit cropped sweater and then I threw on a skims cropped zip up over the top these are from Athleta, and then my slippers are Ugh.
we are back home and lunch was so delicious one of my favorite restaurants 503w if you're ever in colorado springs guys gals whoever's watching this the last of my ski gear has finally come in i'm so excited so let's do another little baby haul because i want to show you all what i got i'm hoping fingers crossed that they do fit because then i can choose like what's the best quality what do i really like and then once we get done with that i need to show you the atrocious the atrociousness that is my guest bedroom I'm waiting for California closets to come and renovate it so that it looks cute and is functional and makes sense. But for now, I just have so many boxes and stuff that has come in that we need to do some cleaning tonight. So there's gonna be a lot of cleaning in tonight's vlog for you all because that is real life. <laughs> you already know, we got the knife out. Take a peek. What's in the box? This is, oh, this is more ski wear from Amazon. Ah, uh, these are more ski pants. These are definitely gonna fit. I can tell because like you can see they're wrapping around my waist. These are just in a nice black color. These are bigger actually than the other ones and they look like they're slightly higher than the ones I got yesterday. So these are the Rider Pant and they're from Snow Country Outerwear. I think everything in this box is from Snow Country Outerwear. So let's give it a little test on the camera. We. Oh yeah, these definitely fit. Very easily. Ooh, I actually think they're a little big. But what's nice about these is that they are a button pant. Yeah, what in the hell? Did I ever think there would come a day where I would have snow pants that were too big? No, I never thought that would happen, ever. So I ordered based on my sizing. So they tell you like based on your measurements what you're supposed to order. They're too big, y'all. <laughs> These are really, really nice though. They're very comfortable. I like that they've got zippers and super deep pockets. I wonder if I could wear a belt with these, if I could get away with it, or even if I had them darted, if that would work. Because I do like that these are not as tight as the other ones. But we got too much space now. We got too much space. We got too much space. If you are someone who's like a size 26 or 24, I'm like a 20, 22 in my jeans, 20 in stretchy jeans, 22 in non-stretch. Those will work for you if you're bigger than that. So that's exciting. Ooh, these? these are, what the hell are these? Y'all, I don't know what these are, but they, Okay, I'm holding them up. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. Do you see how long those are? I'm five foot two. These are almost five foot two tall. This is, this is gonna be too big also. I think I ordered, ordered things that were too big. Okay, let's see. Oh, and this has stretch, has like a little stretchy panel right here. Y'all, this is gonna go up to my nipples. <laughs> oh, they're, ah, they're overalls. That's why they're so tall. Well, these are also too big. I feel like, do you know those, um, those people that go fishing when they're wearing those crazy pants? That's what I feel like. Okay, well, just in case you're wondering, I can fit probably another person in here. Look at how stretchy they are. <laughs> I'm really kind of bummed because I was hoping these were gonna work. They're really comfortable. I think I ordered, 
I ordered a 6X because I was really nervous that they weren't going to fit. And I ordered based on what their sizing said. And by, based on my hip measurements, these were supposed to fit me. But clearly, that's an awe. And there's a lot of space even in the, as you can see, even in the hip area. These are like three sizes too big. I should have ordered a 3X. ridiculous total ridiculousness clearly <laughs> these are a fail there's still a few more things in this box i'm assuming that everything i ordered was in the largest size possible because like i said i went based off of what they said that your sizing is based on your inches of your body i literally measured myself before i placed this order this is super off, so I'm so bummed though because this is actually really nice. I think I like these better than the other ones, especially because it has this little stretchy panel right here. Like, that's super nice. These are really, really comfortable, but they're too big. They're too big. <laughs> this is the jacket from them. It's a waterproof ski jacket. This is also in a 6X, but this looks smaller than the pants, so let's... Let's see what we're walking with, shall we? Oh, this is nice too. It's completely Velcroed on the top, so it covers up the zipper. Let's see. This feels pretty good, actually. So, oh, oh it has, um, Ah, oh, yes, it has the same thing as the other jacket that I was telling you all about, where it's got the insert here that, like, you button so that if you fall, there's no snow that goes into your pants. This is actually really nice. But there's something seriously off about their... This is really nice. There's something really off with their pants because the pants did not fit this i could probably go down another go down in another size too because look at all the space that i have here but and i have a lot of space i have a lot of space everywhere actually but it fits really well i love that it actually goes over my bum and it's it's really comfortable i feel super warm especially if i had base layers on underneath this i think i'd probably be sweating so oh and Look at that, it has the same little hand warmer things as the other jacket from Half Days. So this is actually really, really nice. If you are looking for a plus size ski coat or just like a outdoor winter jacket that's like gonna keep you really warm in the snow, this is a really, really good option. All right, last box. I forgot that I ordered another Sherpa jacket too. This is super pretty. It's in that dusty blue color. Let's take off this jacket. That's how you know that other jacket was big because I had on a sweater and like a light jacket over the top of it and it still was loose. Oh, this is too tight. So this is a no. Sometimes their stuff fits me it's very hit or miss. It's dependent on whether it's an oversized item or not. This is the jacket that I'm really keeping my fingers crossed will work for me because it's the one that was like the jacket of my dreams of all of the like waterproof jackets. Holding it up, it's a possibility it might fit. going to be the one of my dreams but I don't really think it is to be honest I'm like not overly excited by it it's not really that like if I wanted it to be 
all the way down, it wouldn't fit. But I do think it like where it hits on my body when it's zipped is okay. I don't really feel like it's doing much for me. And I think it's like $350. So I do feel really warm in it though, but I don't love it. So because I spent so much money on my order, they sent a free bag and it's kind of cute. I'm actually gonna keep this for sure because I will use it. It's just like a little weekender bag. I really, really like that, that's super cute. And then I got two of these little cropped tees and teal and like a really neon green and a hat. So let me throw one of these on and see how it works. It's getting kind of dark out, so the lighting's not great, but the shirt's cute. It's just like a cute little cropped shirt for summer. Kind of like the hat too. It's actually really good for, if you have a lot of hair like I do, I have a really hard time finding hats that fit. And this one, I actually have space. It almost feels like it's a little too big, quite frankly, which is nice. So I will definitely keep the hat because I like to wear hats when I go hiking. And I like the little aloe detail on the chest area. Let's see what the green color looks like. I actually like the green color better than the turquoise. I think it just like goes with my skin tone better than the turquoise does. Cute. One more thing about the hat. I really, really love that it doesn't have Velcro in the back. A lot of hats, they have that Velcro to tighten it. This has an actual like pull strap instead. So I don't like Velcro because it always gets stuck in my hair, but this one doesn't. So this is definitely a winner for me. One last thing I need to show you all, the boots that I got. Look at these, look at these. These are the boots, y'all. <laughs> These are the boots. These are moon boots. And I'm like in love with them. I think they're gonna be so cute for the slopes. As promised, I'm gonna show you all, no judgment here, no judgment, what my room that needs to be cleaned tonight looks like. It is, it's intense. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is it. This is what we're working with. It's a hot, mess in here and basically what's happened is as i continually get more and more packages i keep putting all of the boxes and just everything in here and it's just become overwhelming so tonight we are going to spend some time trying to get this clean i don't even know if i'm going to be able to get it all cleaned up in one night just because there's so much stuff everywhere and i have such a huge surplus of pr that's been sent to me because you get so much pr during the holiday season that I'm just like, I don't even know where to put it because I don't really have great storage yet, which is why I can't wait for California Closets to come and renovate this room. So this whole entire wall, actually the whole entire room will be renovated and the closets will be renovated too. But for now, this is what we're working with and we have got to find a solution. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is just where everything gets thrown when I don't know where to put it or like I just don't know what to do with it at the moment in time and we're gonna start cleaning so <laughs> I just need to break down some boxes and just put a couple of things away I just want to be able to walk into the room and I don't want any shoes or clothes to be like not where they're supposed to be so <sighs> this is what we're working on tonight <laughs> So remember how I told you all I was going to clean this room and get it organized? Well, I have yet to start. And honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it this way until after I get back from Aspen. So Sunday, <laughs> we're going to work on this because I just feel like it's too overwhelming for me right now. Plus, I had to do four loads of laundry tonight and I need to get like my dining room cleaned up. And I just feel like since this isn't a room that I'm regularly using... We're just going to close the door and think about it another day. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering, but I'm probably whispering because I know I need to focus on this room, but I really just, I do not have the energy to do it. So do the things that you know you can do. For me, that's laundry and cleaning off my dining room table and keep it moving. So give yourself grace. It's okay if your whole house is not perfect. I do feel like I'm pretty good at keeping everything else clean, like 
the rest of my house usually is pretty well organized, but when I get so much surplus in all at once, it just makes it challenging. So we're just gonna leave that room alone for the night. <laughs> laundry is finally put away i'm super super happy about that i got three loads done tonight which wasn't all of the ones that i wanted to get done but we made progress and i organized my like underwear and sock drawer and i think it looks so good so i want to show you so all of my socks are in here undies and bras looks pretty good right I also tend to be pretty organized with everything, so I try to keep them all in an organized manner so I can find whatever I'm looking for. I think that's it for tonight's vlog. I am going to just take a shower, unwind for the night, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching all of the comments, everything that you guys have been sharing and saying just makes me feel so happy and excited that you are all enjoying just watching me in my day-to-day -day life because it just makes me feel happy that it's bringing you all joy as well. And I hope you all sleep well and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Sleigh bells ring